Hey YouTube, this is Eric from Thump em Up Fishing, and I'm here with a recent customer of mine, Michael. Michael actually went and built a thumper, and then I, I guess you had a little bit of problems with it, or just, just yeah. having some challenges with it. So he contacted me and ended up buying one of one of the Thump em Up thumpers. So I just want to walk through the experience. I think a lot of you are out there saying, hey, should I build a thumper? Should I buy a thumper? And Hold on, I'll be right there. Wait, 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 wait. And just from my perspective, right, I built my first thumper and I saw how successful it was and then I decided to actually try and sell it and that's why I started selling thumpers and I've sold, you know, somewhere over 1100 thumpers to date. Um, but I want to just get Michael's perspective on what it was like, like when you decide to build a thumper, like what was your approach and how did you try and figure it out? So for me, a lot of it was just research. You know, I, when I started fishing on Texas, I was researching the lake and mm -hmm. trying to see what was working and thumpers kept coming up, thumpers and splashers. Yep. So I got really interested in figuring out, okay, how can I replicate that as much as possible? Mm -hmm. And so when I saw it, I'm like, well, I can do that. That seems easy enough. And so I gave it a shot. Okay. Sounds good. And it looks like you, uh, you use some of the very similar components to what I use. So I see you got a claw hammer, um, you got a car seat motor, you got the controller. Um, how long did it take you to put that all that together? Mm, four hours. Four hours? Four hours, yeah. And the wood was just scrap that we had in the garage and the hammer we had. And we tried to use as much scrap as we already had. Gotcha. And a lot of it was just trying to see what, what we could make. Yeah. I think the big challenge, looks like your big challenge was the, the arm on the hammer mm -hmm. and the rotor. Okay. So it's, it's very similar to my thumper and actually it, even now after I build as many of them as I built, it still takes me about four hours. As you can see from my, my little shop here, I'm not doing it one at a time, but when you average it all out, it still t probably takes a good four hours to build a thumper. I think the difference is, so I use wood as well. Um, I'm using ultralight MDF, so it's a little bit lighter. And then obviously I keep all my stuff in an ammo can. So everything I've done is very compact to fit in that ammo can. Um, so you built it, you took it out. How's it, how was it working for you? Was it catching fish or did it? So when we first, I think it was the first two trips, we, we took it out, we used it and immediately just, it was working. So I knew, okay, the thumper's real. Like, right. Cause I was, it was one of those guys, like you watch videos and you see it and it's like, okay, you know, how much editing is in there? I mean, literally turned it on 10 minutes later, we were covered in fish. Yeah. And after that trip, that's when we started having problems with my thumper. And, you know, this is not a professional by any means. We just literally put this together in a short amount of time. And as soon as we figured out, okay, that it works, that's when I reached out to Eric and like, we're going to buy, so, uh, buy one from someone who knows what they're doing. Gotcha. Yeah. So, um, just a little bit about our thumper. So, like I said, I've got about, uh, about a thousand of these. So I'm, I'm using a very similar piece. I got a car seat motor. This one's rigged up for, yours is rigged up for remote. Very similar controller. Um, I use a ball peen hammer. A lot of people say they prefer a rubber hammer. Personally, I don't think it makes a difference. I've used rubber hammers. I've used steel hammers. They both work. The reason I use a steel hammer is it's a lot easier to work with. Um, my first thumper honestly looked a lot like yours. My dad just happens to be a, um, he's a retired master craftsman, like furniture maker. So he kind of laid out, Hey, here's how you can build a good box for it. Um, uh, my mother-in-law actually does all the electrical stuff. So it's, it's, it is truly a family business where they contribute. And then I've got Tim, he's an electrical engineer. He helped design all the components for it and lay it all out. So again, it's, it was a lot of trial and error on my part. The good news is if you, if you look at the other half of my garage, it's just a workshop. I mean, I've got panel saws, I've got drill presses, I got multiple miter box saws. I've got everything laid out to do an assembly line, so everything's jigged out. And what I'm really trying to do is just optimize the performance of the thumper. So the other thing I saw that you did, which is good, I tell people to do this. People ask me, you know, what do I do with the wires? So there's two options that you can do. One is you can run them out through the back and just leave one of your latches undone, which is what I do. Or the other option is like you did, you can cut that wire. That, you, that way you maintain that integrity of the ammo can. The ammo can actually is, is pretty close to being waterproof. It's got a watertight seal that goes around it um, coming from the factory. So they do that as well. So that's the difference. I mean, it's always fun as a, as a person to go out and try and build something of your own. Um, 
uh, you know, the, that's that's similar to what I started with. Um, this is just just a more finished product, and like I said, if you build a thousand of them, you start to learn little tricks of the trade and make them a little bit better. So thanks for sharing your experience, Michael. Thanks again for um, buying a thumper from me. Y'all are gonna see, we took uh, Michael and Kimberly out to Tech Seminar. We, we showed them different ways to catch fish. We showed them some umbrella rigs. We showed them some um, dead stick in using live bait. I think you had a pretty good time, caught a couple, couple caught, of decent fish on that fish. one. We caught yeah. a lot of fish. Though. So it was a really good trip. So again, as always, YouTube, thanks for watching the video. Please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment. Let me know anything else you wanna see. And uh, stay tuned, we got more videos coming. Thank you.